Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And in this video, I'm doing a detailed review of the Snooze White Noise Masker, which is my new secret weapon against tinnitus. Coming up. Tinnitus, or tinnitus, whichever you prefer to say, can be extremely annoying. In most cases, it's your brain's response to the lack of auditory input, typically caused by a hearing loss. And if you find yourself in a quiet room, it can make your perception of tinnitus even worse because there's no significant amount of sound to distract you from it. Due to this, hearing aids are a great way to reduce your perception of tinnitus during the daytime. But unless you have a Lyric hearing aid that you can wear 24 seven, when you go to bed at night and take your hearing aids out, that tinnitus eventually comes back. However, another thing that you can do without having to wear hearing aids is using a noise masker. Noise maskers have been used for years to help treat tinnitus because it helps distract your brain away from focusing on that tinnitus sound. In fact, I have a number of videos on my YouTube channel where I have a variety of different masking sounds that do help out significantly with the perception of tinnitus. The problem is, it's not always convenient to be playing these videos, especially especially when you're going to sleep. This is where the snooze white noise machine comes into play. But before I get into my review of this nifty little device, if you could do me a huge favor and click the like button, it really helps out my channel because it gets these videos in front of a broader audience. And while you're at it, if you have not yet hit that subscribe button and notification bell, go ahead and do that right now as well, because that ensures that you never miss one of my new videos. That being said, let's go ahead and get into the review. Now there are a lot of white noise generators on the market. So I will link this particular product in the description of this video if you wanna check it out for yourself. Snooze is by far the best tinnitus masker that I have ever used, and I have used a ton of them. First of all, it actually uses an internal fan. It does not digitally create sound, which is really nice because I feel like the fan noise is a much more natural sound than a digitally reproduced sound. On top of that, it doesn't have a loop, meaning when you're listening to a digital sound, let's say that the track is a minute long, every time it switches from track to track or re-loops back through that same track, it's like you hear that little skip of a CD, which can be extremely annoying in a lot of these different noise generators. Now I'm going to go ahead and turn on the snooze right now and you can hear it running and I want you to pay attention to the change in pitch of the white noise. When you rotate the outer shell, it actually changes the perception of the pitch of that white noise. So you can actually find the pitch that best masks your tinnitus. Now, of course, the third thing that I like about this is that you can change between 10 different volume levels. So you can actually make it pretty loud or you can turn it down and make it softer. It just depends on the volume that you wanna play it at. So if your tinnitus is really, really bad, you might wanna have it on a louder setting. If your tinnitus is not that bad, you can probably back it off a bit. The fourth really cool thing about Snooze is that it actually has its own smartphone app that lets you control your device. The Snooze app is available for Apple and Android devices and allows you to do a variety of cool things with your Snooze device. First, it allows you to select which snooze device you want to adjust if you have multiple snooze devices in different rooms of your house. It also gives you the ability to control the volume level of your snooze device. You can put the snooze device on a timer so it runs at very specific times on different days of the week. You can put the app into dark mode so you don't wake anyone up with an app that's too bright. And you even have a nursery calibration feature to ensure that you don't set the white noise too loud where it could damage hearing. Pretty much the only thing that you cannot do from the smartphone app is adjust the pitch of the white noise because you actually have to physically rotate the outer shell to do that. The fifth thing that I absolutely love about this device is that it is so sleek looking and it's very compact. So you wouldn't think twice but actually like putting this on your nightstand. It's a lot better looking than virtually any other noise generator that is out on the market that are just ugly eyesores that you would never want to have on display. This guy actually looks pretty nice. And on top of that, he's actually a lot smaller than I thought he was going to be. So I can actually take, and I'm actually referring to him as like a he, but I could actually take this guy on a trip 
and not take up a whole lot of space inside of an actual suitcase. So he travels really easily, especially if you get the travel case that you can purchase separately. Snooze also has smaller options. They have the Snooze Go and the Snooze Go Baby. These devices are digitally generating this white noise, so I haven't tested them out yet. I don't know how well they work, but when I do reviews of these particular products, I will go ahead and link them in the description of this video. The sixth thing that I like about the Snooze is that it's actually pretty energy efficient. In fact, the company states that it's up to 98% more energy efficient than a typical fan. And when it comes to a fan, there are other problems associated with that as well. First of all, if it's in the winter time, you might not want to be blowing a fan inside of your bedroom to cause circulation of air, just to make things more cold. You can adjust the pitch of a fan, but basically it requires you to actually change the speed of the fan, and you have very limited adjustments from that perspective as well. As awesome as Snooze is, there are a few negatives about this particular device. And the first one is the cost. Snooze is almost double the cost of another typical noise generator out on the market. While I happen to believe that the additional features justify the additional cost, you may not feel the same way. Of course, you also have the potential of a significant other not liking the sound of having a noise generator inside of the bedroom. In these particular cases, you might do better with the Bose Sleep Buds. I use the Bose Sleep Buds regularly. If you wanna check out my review of the Bose Sleep Buds, you can find that in the description as well. And like I mentioned before, the other negative that I see with this is that you cannot adjust the pitch of the white noise through the smartphone app. You can do some other cool things with the smartphone app, but changing the pitch is not one of them. That actually requires a physical adjusting of the outer shell. Otherwise, I think Snooze is the perfect option to mask tinnitus while you're trying to fall asleep, or if you're trying to concentrate, but you're in a quiet room. In fact, I was actually gonna send this device back to the company when I was done with my review, but I liked it so much that I just decided to keep it. So if you have tinnitus that prevents you from falling asleep at night or staying asleep at night, or you just have trouble concentrating in a quiet room because the perception of your tinnitus just gets worse and worse, then I highly recommend that you give Snooze a try. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.